everyone. So this is Zephyria from Gamer50 Plus channel and I changed my mind tonight and decided that um, I want to do kind of a special thing for Stranded Deep and I haven't actually played it for a, a little while. So um, tonight I figured that what I'd do is just start a new world. Um, I'm going to put uh, the cheat mode, it's called cheat mode, but it is creative mode. So that is this thing. I'm going to put it on so I don't have to do the continual grind of chopping down trees and digging and carrying on. So we can just get on with it. Um, so, oh, my controller batteries are low. Gee. Okay, um, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to uh, switch my batteries around. Well, that was an interesting start. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna actually just have a play just for fun in this uh, in game. And let's see, um, I've got a game world that I think works okay. And uh, we'll, we'll have a go at that. I don't really know it yet because I've only just kind of created it. But from what I've seen, it's groovy. Um, so we can try that and um, I have a look around and I can get a mini bike up and running pretty fast and so we can zip around the place and see what exists. Now enemy spawning, we don't want to have too much, um, we can even go to very low or you can turn it off entirely if you just want to explore and build, which on my building project I just turn it off and to only have it on for the horde night. So it's up to you what you do, but um, we can just put it on very low for tonight. I don't care. I mean, I've got another one which is on, you've got very high and then um, you've also got insane mode and you've got zombies run or don't run and all this kind of stuff. So low or very low, I really don't, it doesn't matter um, because when you choose here, scavenger, adventurer, that will di dictate how many zombies um, show up. Now the reason I'm going to have it down low is because when it is higher it actually um, seizes up the system, right? The more zombies that, that um, appear in the map um, in front of you, like within, within visual range, the more that are there that spawn, the slower it chugs and so it can actually start to freeze up and um, you get a lot of delay so um, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to have it down on low so we don't have to deal with that so we're only dealing with the, the map rendering because um, when you're in a, uh, a large map and this is actually a big map when you're in the these large maps um, you will find that it takes time to render it and uh, so you know, if you're having issues, I suggest just turn it down and then turn it up once, you know, once you've discovered some places and the the system has kind of rendered the map a few times or something. I don't know. It seems to work a bit better once it's, you know, when you've been somewhere. So enemy aggression. Now, this is the one you can switch to feral um, if you if you want. Like, if you live in a world for a while, then what you can do is... Um, for a promotion on my channel um gee okay interesting things that come up right <laughs> uh so what you can do is uh once you've once you've kind of established yourself if you don't use the creative mode then you will have to grind and i mean grind like arc um if you've ever played arc survival um or you know some of these other games where you have to collect a lot of resources then you will have to grind and hours and I mean it's hours and hours and hours of grinding um, and so if you want to just get get to it quickly you won't actually earn achievements that's the only thing so I do suggest doing a game on normal um, not normal on um on just you know with with the regular settings as well uh, so that you can get the achievements, uh, the little Xbox achievements and everything in the game. Uh, but to explore and to just live in a game and have fun and just do a building project and explore a new world, I do suggest that you just, you know, kind of don't, don't push it too far at the 
start there unless you've got a really fast system. If you've got a really good system that's fast and your internet connection is very good, then you probably can do it. But um, I tend to have problems if I try, so my connection doesn't like it much. <laughs> it kind of starts to chug a lot. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this. So we've chosen that and we're going to go start the game. And um, we're going to go with... Um, uh, while it's rendering, I'll switch the batteries, see? So I'm going to go with, what did I call it? Apocalyptic. Mm. This was a, this turned out to be a pretty good little world. Uh, uh huh. Oasis. That was right. Um, I didn't get much of an oasis out of it though. <laughs> but um, we'll see. Maybe I can do it this time. I wanted to create an oasis in the desert. Basically, that was what it was. But hey, let's give it a go. Oasis. So let's see what I can find. Okay, now this time I can do it because I actually, I'm in creative mode, so it's going to be a bit different. But all right, let's see what happens about that. Um, and if it'll, if it'll take that name. No, let's go okay. Okay, so it's going to render now. Um, I'm changing my battery, so I'll see you back in a moment. So here we are in the desert. Um, it seems to have uh, put me in the correct place. So I'm pretty happy about that, that I've ended up in the place I wanted to. And um,
one wood okay so if you see those hit them and you will get wood sometimes it gives you two let me see if i can get something out of that one two Um... Stop myself from... I'm just going to use a creative mode to stop myself from having to do too much of a grind. I'm going to do a bit of a grind at the start just to get this um, initial quest and a few starter skills, but then we'll switch and I'll... Um, here we go. So being in the crouch mode, you'll actually see a lot more stuff. So if you're looking for things, get down on, get down into crouch mode. And uh, look at that. I've already got feathers and I've got myself some eggs. Now, you can't eat the eggs <laughs> until you get glass bottles. You've got to have glass bottles and you've got to have a cooking pot. Right? So um, those are things to look for early in the game and if you are in this mode you want to collect those from the menu uh, so that you can cook something yourself or you won't even have to. In fact, you can just gather your meals directly from the shopping menu, which is uh, brilliant actually. You just get whatever you want. So if you focus on doing your little projects and things that you, you wanted to do. Um, okay, I'm kind of enjoying the, the bashing thing here that's making the grass. Um, good, got more. Nice. Uh, and the other thing is when you creep around like this, hitting the plants, you actually build athletics, the skill called athletics, the skill. So um, that's a, <laughs> that gives me a reason to keep doing it, right? <laughs> uh, you can also read skill books if you really want to. And here's another stone. So creep around these, this is a clay deposit, this funny looking greenish moss stuff. So if you creep around it, you'll generally find um, some stones and things to uh, If you can't find any nests or stones, start hitting the grass around you and you'll find that sometimes they're hidden. You think you can see them, but you can't. <laughs> they don't appear until you, until you kind of smack around a bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. And got some aloe veras. Get those two. I don't mind collecting sand actually because you can make um, it's called adobe actually, <laughs> and it is a type of uh, block that you can use. Now, if you see this in the desert, 
um, collect all of them. Uh, get your axe and chop them all because you'll get a seed. Well, after you chop a certain amount, you get a seed to plant a tree. A little secret. Okay, so then plant that tree in a clay deposit and it will grow well. Don't plant it in the desert, in the clay deposit. Oh, look, eight eggs already. Unreal. Okay, so plant the desert, it's not that bad. And if you're close to water, you can just, every time you overheat, you just go into the water. Easy. No problem. Right. Here we go. And oh, I wonder if I have enough. So they want me to do the bedroll thing. Okay, but I just want to grab all my stuff and then do it. And do the whole lot. Ah, do it all at once. So I'm going to chat a bit at the start here just while we get going. Um, hmm. Okay, so you can see stones from standing position, but um, that's the one we found before. Okay, let's keep looking around here. There seem to be a few things around here. Right. Let's look out for Z's because we are we do have a spawn on. It's just in low, but we do have it on. Um, I don't tend to find dogs in the desert so much as uh, definitely in the wasteland. But um, there you go. That's another one. So I'm very much a bow player in this. I like a pistol and a bow and a sniper rifle. So um, I have used some of the other guns, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, I just feel like you're kind of wasting ammunition a lot of the time when you can do more... Um, you know, do more with less, so to speak. But that's just me. Uh, I've got a game set up in uh, insane mode as well, which is in, it's interesting playing in insane mode. It's very intense. <laughs> so I don't recommend it for relaxed play. <laughs> I, re I recommend just doing this kind of thing. All right, so, all right, so I'm just going to keep on going and uh, get this initial quest off the table and. Uh, yeah, let's, let's think of where on earth I want to put a little, I'll see where I am on the map, and um, yeah, go for a swim, see? That's it. Really good idea because it keeps you cool. There's a nice island over there, I'm thinking of maybe, maybe heading over to the island. Just have to swim across to get some materials and everything, but yeah, that could be fun. Okay. If you get a mini bike, you can always like make yourself a little garage. You can even build a bridge. You know, do whatever you want, right? <laughs> it's, uh, that's the beauty of it. When you've got the creative menu, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. So raise the ground up if you want. Okay. Um. Yay. Let's get these. Okay. So now I've got. Yep. Good. I've definitely got enough to make myself an axe. So let's do that now. It's one of the first things that I want to do, even though that's one of the quest items. Um, let's just get this thing out of the way. One of the things I want to do is um, show you this. Hit that thing. And you get two. Now, if it's got flowers, if you look for one that's got lots of flowers on it, like this one here, it looks really fat with lots of flowers, like plump, um, for a cactus that is, you know, like full of juice. <laughs> You'll get three. The big ones give you three. Okay, and what happened to me is I stood on a baby cactus, okay? So it took three health when I stood on it. Now let's have a look at where it was. Where, where is it? Well, let's get rid of it so I don't stand on it again. There it is. You step on that and you lose health. So be careful when you're running through the desert because you can, uh, oops, you can definitely lose a lot of health by just by that alone if you don't pay attention. So if you're being chased by Z's, watch where you're running. <laughs> be a bit careful because you don't want to lose any more health than you, you really have to. Okay, um, so how about, let's go for a little hunt over here to this island and see if I can find... Uh, See if that's a decent place to build a base. Kind of 
kind of looks greedy, right? So, uh, yeah, why not? Let's, um, head on over. Now, just keep your head up when you're swimming. You can go down under the water. See? Have a look around. You can see the world from underneath the water, but be careful because you run out of air and drown. <laughs> and also, don't ever, don't ever, um, go swimming in a rad storm. Uh, gee, I did that and ended up um, drowning. The, the character just drowned. I, I don't know what on earth happened, but it, I've never done it since. So if there's a, a bit of a dust storm starting, sometimes you get storms, like little dust storms or rad storms or something. And um, if that's the case, yeah, just be careful about swimming. So, yeah. Even though you don't see any current in the water in this particular edition, um, you still, your character still won't, won't handle it very well. So let's see what's on this island. Okay, I'm going to switch off the commentary now and I'm just going to get going with it. Um, but I think I'll build my little oasis house and a little garden here and then I might do my farms across the other side or uh, I don't know, something like that. We'll do a bridge. Um, I'll just make a few things, um, whatever I can tonight. So I'm playing for a little while. Um, I might have to come and go a little bit because I am caring for some kitties and uh, they do demand a bit of attention. So, <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be back with you soon. All right, enjoy.
so as I said, the reason that I am actually doing this little bit of harvesting is just to get some initial skills going. Okay, so I don't want to have you know a character that has absolutely no skill. That that's just you know that's what it is. So yeah, I'm just letting my character build some skills up, and uh, yeah, that kind of means we do a little harvesting and um, a little bit of crafting and then just uh, go to the other menu. Um, I can definitely get myself a much better axe, but you see, every time you create something, it builds your skill. So I need to keep doing that just for a bit. I can always read skill books, I suppose, but uh, yeah, that's, that's really cheesing it, you know. I don't like to cheese it too much. I do like to actually, you know, just still stay in the, the full swing of the game of uh, being used to actually doing what the game requires you to do in a normal setting, right? So this is a, cr a creative crafting setting, uh, a little different, and therefore, you know, uh, therefore I'm approaching it differently. Um, but right now I'm approaching it as though I am actually going to be playing the game without the crafting menu on, you know, without the uh, creative menu on. I mean. Oh, and there we go. The example that I was telling you about of, of the, the bush that you can use for, um, for wood. Let me show you. See this here? This is wood. Now, watch. That's wood as well. Okay? So that little tuft of a very green... Um, bush or plant is actually wood <laughs> believe it or not so if you go and smack those you you get yourself one or two initially it's one and then as you hit more of them you get more wood i don't know why but that one's two you see so it gave me one then when i hit another one i got two so um yeah so that's how you do it right those are going to be 12. So always hit those if you're in a hurry to get wood and you don't have you know because per hit you're going to get 12. So you can look at um, once your axe gets better and higher in um, in the score, you know, like it's level six. So once the level increases on once the level increases on your axe, then you're going to harvest more naturally. So and it will not burn out as quickly. So you'll get more hits out of it. <laughs> but in the early stages, that'll give you 12 straight away. So that's a yeah, pretty good option, I guess. You know. um, we just need to keep an eye out for any, any Zs. And the way to tell, of course, is to just duck down. And uh, if we can find something to... Yeah, that shadow there, you can see there's a little white eye. Yep. If you didn't know, then you want to just uh, go into squat mode, squat down, sneak mode. And um, that little eye will tell you whether you've been seen by a Z or not. <laughs> okay. So... Now, you don't need a forge to make iron. You don't. All you have to do is scrap. So just hit that and go scrap and it automatically makes you a pile of iron. So I've seen people going, oh, I need a forge. So they click all this iron and they don't do anything with it. You can immediately scrap it. Immediately. And look how much I've got. And you see, when you've got that much, what you can do straight away to improve your chances of fighting, um, say you're not in this menu and uh, in this creative mode, uh, just you know, sharing a few little tips for you. Um, what you can do is you flick across to where the little um, sword is and you'll see this iron reinforced club. Now, doesn't matter what level it is, it's going to be better than what you can make <laughs> uh, already. So just, you know, craft yourself one of those. You need, a, I think it's a hundred. Yeah, you need a hundred of those little iron things. So just, all you do is hit scrap and you've got what you need, you know. Now the next thing I always do is um, arrows, as many arrows as I can. Just plain old everyday arrows, don't, don't need to be fancy. Let's just get as many as we can. Um, and so when I'm doing a regular playthrough, I always um, squat, squat down and look for as many birds' nests as I can find. So I've got food, and by the time I get to any structure and collect some more bottled water, 
then I will be able to um, also hopefully find a cooking pot and get myself um, some food with these eggs. So yeah, I always try to collect the eggs. So let's go and uh, let's grab that. Pop that into my bar, uh, where it's supposed to go. Uh -huh. And my little axe is just about dead, so I'm gonna need to make another one. Now, um, every time you do this, crafting up arrows, it increases your score. So if, if we have a look here, let's see how I'm going. With everything I've done so far, what do my skills look like? How am I doing? What have I actually earned skill in? Hmm, nothing there so far, of course. But I haven't shot any arrows, but I do have one in blunt weapons. And my weapon smithing has gone up. Okay, um, I have right, gone up in mining tools and tool smithing. And everything is just one. I think that's a baseline. So, as you. Athletics. Okay, now the, the reason that went up is because I was going around punching everything, <laughs> punching the grass to clear the grass away. So that's a good thing to do to just immediately raise uh, your your athletics level. And what else? Anything else? So my miscellaneous crafting has gone up. Okay, and uh, science, I guess. So there you go. So as you do just the most basic things you will earn um, yourself some points. Okay. There you go. So, I've done all of that. And, um, yeah, one thing that, that some people get stuck on is uh, when they first play, how do you load the arrow? Okay. You've got to hit the B button on the Xbox controller. Hit the B button. So, um, have your... Have your um, bow equipped in your hand and then hit the B button and it will load. Okay? There we go. Alright. And that's how you, uh, the way to select different arrows is hold down the B button. Alright? While you've got it equipped. And then you'll be able to um, just select around using your uh, left, um, what do you call this thing? Toggle. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, just yeah, just a tip because I, I'm, <laughs> I've played the game with people who, who play for the first time. And they're like, how do I do this? <laughs> so yes, there you go. That is how it is done. Okay, right. So <clears throat> the easiest way to hit stuff is just in crouch mode. You can do the gardening. It's brilliant. So, anyways, I am going to. Uh, continue on, we've got to do the wood frame thing, place it, upgrade it, and all that jazz. i um, better show you that too. If you're new to this game or this version of the game, you might not understand the command for that. Which happened to me when I started. I had to look it up and no idea what net I was supposed to do. I saw everyone doing it. I'm like, how are you doing it? I, I can't. I'm hitting every button and I can't get it to work. <laughs> so, um, yes, I didn't know how to upgrade a frame. <laughs> and that was a bit of a tricky thing. Right, so I, I want to make a beach, right? So, and then I want to use the forest ground, which means I'm replacing the ground in here. And uh, maybe extend this island a bit. Let's see if I can do it and uh, build myself a bigger island to make my oasis. That does. That's a plan. Um, let's see how we go. Right. That, like, we do need to kind of undertake some of this stuff. Just get it out of the way and find out where Trader is uh, and all that jazz. Okay. No need for a mini bike right now. We can do everything that I plan to do on this island right now. So that's all we need. We have the instant delivery. This is the creative menu. Great! Getting a clear area. All this grass in the way. Alright, how's this looking? Now I've got my nice little uh, clear area here. Okay. Let's 
still got lots and lots of grass hanging around. So, so much fiber. Make a stack of hay bales. <laughs> useful but we are going to need shelter because of the heat in the, the desert um, and in fact I probably should check 76 degrees okay well that's not too bad but I'm starting to get thirsty and hungry um, now I do have these here which fix hunger there we go 68% going now, all you need is one jar and a bunch of these things. And you can just survive indefinitely in the desert without getting food poisoning or anything else. Right? You just need to be harvesting these. So you want to make a garden, plant these things, these yucca fruits, and uh, you can just live on them really, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So let's have a look. We've got this, these fruit. Um, I can drink that. Right, now I've got a jar and I can make myself a juice. And the juice takes four. There you are. So you need a jar and you need four of the fruits. Okay, now you get three from one of the large cactuses and you get one from one of those small spindly looking things. Um, spiked uh, yucca plants okay so let's create one of those now that will actually cool you down so when you're in the desert and you make yourself one of these juices it'll cool you down okay so a good really good idea to uh, to do it <clears throat> might make some more seeds um, I can make some of these seeds as well and plant these <laughs> But I'd rather just keep the fruit on me. It doesn't matter because I'm using, I'm going to use the creative menu in a moment anyway. So, yeah. Um, so, we've just got a message. All right. Hokey dokey. So, we've got to just pop a few of these down anywhere we'll do. Um, that, that, and that will do. Let's just put four of them down. Yeah, how many have I got? I've got a stack of them, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> That'll do. Um, and I need an axe, and I didn't make another one, did I? So let's do that. Uh, make another axe. So creative menu, you don't even have to do this if you don't want to. I suggest um, I suggest doing it. Now, the way you do that is I hold the left trigger on the Xbox controller. So, like I said, I had no idea how to do it. When I started this game, I was so confused. I had no idea how on earth to do that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. So let's just, um, let's just make an initial structure here. Just something cheesy. Doesn't matter because, uh, yeah, I just want to replace some, some blocks and build out the island a bit further. So we just want somewhere to put a little campfire and, and in case any of these show up. Um, basically, that's um, all we need at this stage. Uh, they, get, they actually can swim, by the way. So I don't think that they won't because they can. <laughs> they can definitely swim across here. And if you're swimming in the water, be careful, especially dogs. They're pretty fast. So they, they can catch you. Um, yeah, so I'm happy to just build a big base and um, then I might grab some block, uh, some uh, materials out of the creative menu and I'll just upgrade all this because the upgrading process will in fact uh, help me to raise my levels in different, um, different things, you know, you know, crafting and all that stuff. Every time you do this, your level gets uh, raised. Right now, it wants me to make the campfire, of course. Right, let's just grab this. Right. 
And I will actually end up um, digging down the, the foundations much further. Uh, because sand, watch this, it is only 50 for a block. So it's really weak. So with sand, you want to replace it with uh, the toughest block you can. Uh, early on, that that is cobblestone. That in this particular um, in this particular game, uh, cobblestone is the the one that is the strongest early on. So. Sorry, I just had to do something then. Okay, a bit boring looking at the water there. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, I might replace this and let's uh, let's kind of speed ahead a bit now that we've done that. I've just got to do, of course, the basic, basic. Campfire, and I'm going to make another uh, couple of wood frames. Which wood have I got? 70, I don't know, many. So just, just three for now. There it is, it is. <laughs> Jump up on here, and uh, I'm just going to peg one of these here somewhere. And uh, what have I got? A campfire. So, yeah, okay. That, and I put a campfire there. Fine. Doesn't matter, and this initial structure is not important for me. So, I've got the whole island to uh, expand and build on. So, let's just, uh, yeah. Just peg that up there. A little campfire. And that there. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you very much. And let's chuck all the stuff in there. So, yeah. See there? I got a pine seed. That's what I. That's what I meant by when you see those little um, fragments of wood in the desert, go and chop them because after a certain amount, after you hit a certain amount of them, you will um, like randomly receive a seed for growing a tree. <laughs> which is a very good thing in the desert so uh, you definitely want to collect those and then plant yourself a nice little tree farm okay so I've got my juice um, I don't want to eat that that'll heat me up too much and in fact I don't need to and the reason I don't need to is because I have the creative menu and I can get myself um, whatever I need there at this stage so all of this stuff is only good for, that's good for making fertilizer and this is of course for making bullets um, and these are just crafting, general crafting so I'm happy to just whack this in here and um, as just my backup supply and I shall populate my own little menu here with the uh, creative menu and we'll get a whole lot of better bolts as well we don't need not bolts uh, arrows don't need those okay let's uh, get rid of all that and even that and just replace it for now while I'm doing my, my whole building project thing that I'm doing which you can go there uh, and I might just uh, drink that probably Alright, you can go in and you can go up there. Right, so um, what you get is this menu here and in order to find all of the food and everything, uh, you just flick across. It doesn't look like it's there, but if you keep flicking, um, just using the right toggle, you can toggle across and see how I've got all the different foods. Um, I never carry meat on me, ever, ever. Okay, now to raise your uh, health level, it's good enough to just eat those things. Good old cornbread. And even better, if you craft it yourself, you raise your crafting level. So, um, and the other thing you can have is vegetable stew or mushrooms on the go when you're out and about. 
Because there's no point, you know, attracting zombies and then you go, oh, there's so many zombies. Well, why? You know, of course there are because you're running around with uh, meat, which it, the game tells you attracts zombies, right? So, <laughs> oh, no, so anyway, hi there. How are you, Paul? <laughs> um, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. No, you, you can lurk. That's okay. That's cool. <laughs> I'm cool with lurking. <laughs> I don't I don't think of it like that anyway I think you know people have a, have lives and get they have stuff to do and if they're watching and enjoying it fine I, I don't mind you <laughs> yeah, comment if you want to if you can if, if not yeah I'm, I'm happy yes to hang out there that's cool <laughs> okay so what we can do straight away also is um, uh, here's the other thing you can get the, the 500 oh that just flicked across on its own. That was weird. Um, okay, 500 bottled water, just murky water. So you've just got it sitting there and you just make them up randomly as you as you please. Um, bottled water and, uh, you know, get whatever. Get a stack of it and just put it all in your chest. The beer, of course, always on your bar because if you ever find a beer, keep it. Because when you get hit by a zombie, you get stunned. And if you have one of those, on your bar, flick across and take it, and it will unstun you, <laughs> which is magic, <laughs> and it will keep you alive, which is even better. So anyway, I am going to grab uh, some of these really good meals, blueberry pies, whatever. I don't care, you know. So we want to have a variety of food to eat. Um, I'm just going to grab them all, a whole lot of whatever I've got. Okay, and we'll peg them in there for now. We can get the fridge later, there's no point right now. And uh, if I need it, it's there. So, 500 eggs, hey? Wow, look at all that, my goodness. Uh, coffee for if we go out into the, we're gonna head out into the snow. Um, spare cornbread. So for now, I might just uh, have a little feed of bacon, bacon and eggs, but I never ever carry that on me. I carry the veggie stew, this one here. And just uh, be aware that it's a nice hot stew. So if you're in the desert, that's probably not a good idea. You're better off just eating a cornbread. Okay, see how it raises your wellness. Uh, your fullness is pretty good. So it, it helps you to kind of um, raise those levels. Now that that's a, an item for heat <laughs> uh, so that's gonna raise our body temperature not really I accidentally hit that uh, okay so yeah we're not hungry at the moment we don't need to but if you're um, doing any kind of um, mining activity this mega crush if you find them collect them and use them when you're doing mining or chopping trees or doing anything like that because and, and also for horde nights uh, because it helps you if you're using a melee weapon the mega crush gives you extra strength so that you can uh, take down the zombies which is a very good thing right okay and the other thing is um oh we'll have the goldenrod tea that'll cool you down i'll just show you so it's not only a medicinal tea um, which removes dysentery but if you get caught on fire then you have one of these red teas here or the um, goldenrod tea which you make out of the flowers and uh, bottled water then you also raise your wellness it hydrates you um, this one gives you stamina so if you're low on stamina then you can, um, you can just have that on your bar and drink it to keep your stamina up if you're using a melee weapon like a um, sledgehammer or something um, so uh, this also in the desert will cool you down okay so uh, not only the yucca juice which will cool you down this will also cool you down uh, so there you go uh, now I am going to move this aside and I'm going to give myself well I've got these ones so they'll just stay in my menu um, for when I get thirsty and let's see what else we can get to help ourselves here I need to get all my basics um, so I would like to get myself a steel pickaxe oh yes please <laughs> that's a very good find definitely uh, definitely want one of those and um, a shovel 
So what have we got here? An iron shovel or a steel? Well, what's the difference? Uh, block damage 11 and block damage 16. All right, well, I'm going to go for that one because that's a whole lot better. So we'll go for the block damage at, at that one there. Now I need a garden hoe. Yes, please. I definitely want to make a garden. Um, and my basic axe, I can just go, let's see, block damage, 55, that's fantastic. So we've got Tarza's stone axe. Now I have no idea who Tarza is um, or where on earth we got that from, but it's very good. Look at it. <laughs> it's a rare, powerful, ancient Indian artifact. Wow. And it does 55.42 block damage. Impressive. Right, so we want a workbench so that we can actually um, keep the level of that axe up nice and high. So that's a good weapon, actually. Uh, I think entity, so against zombies, it does nine damage, but against blocks, it's going to do um, quite a lot. So that's going to chop down a tree pretty fast. But if we look at the fire axe, for instance, that's 17. So what did I say this one was? Let's have a look. 55. Wow, so that's a fast, that axe is really super fast. Um, okay, we also have the pickaxe, and there's this one which is block damage is what I'm interested in. It's 21, and this one's 34, so I did get myself a nice pickaxe. Uh, and what else can I get? Mm, I definitely want the nail gun because it, it makes repairs so much better. A claw hammer, yes please. I'll take a claw hammer and I will take a, a nail gun. There we go. So the nail gun is wonderful for upgrading anything. <laughs> it's just the, the very best, you know. I just I love it for upgrades. Uh, so let's put our steel axe across here. Right, now I don't like explosives because you, you actually cause damage to your own defences. And this is something I see people do, they're like, oh it's breaking down, well of course it is. You're shooting it or you're blowing it up and you are, you know, it's reduced. The damage you do is reduced but it's still damage. So uh, yeah, you know, just be aware of that, that you want to try and avoid damaging your own defences as much as possible. Am I? I thought I heard something. I better just stay in crouch. Because um, we're at that point where they start to appear. So, uh, yeah, while I'm, I'm busy doing something else, let's not get eaten. All right, so um, now you can get the auger as well. Um, the auger is really good for, um, really good for dig. You know, it's very noisy and it eats a lot of fuel. So I'd rather just dig with a spade normally, but in a normal play um, until I'm much further along because it just eats fuel so, so fast. But, so if you're going to have it, like just grab, a, you know, stacks of fuel um, so that you can uh, use it. <laughs> now, small stones we'll, you'll find just here. And I'm going to just populate this down here with everything, with the basic stuff, and um, change clothes, get some decent clothes. So everything that you need is here. Concrete, the whole works. Um, and I do suggest just, you know, if you want to just do a building project, don't feel bad about going into what's called cheat mode. It's called cheat. I don't think it's cheating. I think it is avoiding uh, um, hours, days of grinding. That's what it is. It's, <laughs> it's, you know, you can get everything you want pretty much straight away, right? All the blocks, um, all the items, and you can just focus on your project. So if you want to kind of go and just explore a world and then build and then have some fun horde nights and whatever, uh, in like insane mode or, or whatever on earth you want to do, then I would suggest doing this, you know. Um, and yeah, don't feel bad about it, but do be aware that you cannot earn. While you're doing this, you cannot actually earn, um, uh, what was I going to say, um, uh, achievements. Yeah, 
That's what I'm, <laughs> that's the word I'm after. You cannot earn achievements while you're doing this, right? So just be aware of that fact. Okay, so my axe can go there. Now I normally have bow and pistol. So let's get ourselves a really good bow. Um, and I can always work up my skill at the workbench as well. You can do that. So there's a really nice, uh, just a wooden bow will do fine. I'm not really fussed on the crossbow. It's, it's not one of my favorite things. I don't like it very much at all. Um, okay. And we're very strong in this apparently because we, we don't get tired, right? So <laughs> when we are, uh, we'll just use steel arrows and that just, the other got it, that's pretty good. Right? But I'll, I'm going to keep them on my bar. So I always do just in case I get um, hammered by something, <laughs> just in case uh, it happens. So let's just be aware of it. And um, yeah, I've got a, a, an axe and a pickaxe and all my all my little tools i am going to get myself some of those and put them here now probably have a drink yeah there we go and have something to eat not hungry okay don't have to say it 100 percent, but you know before i forget to do it uh, now what else might I need? I've got the sniper rifle, I've got that, the bow, not really much else at this stage. Um, oh yeah, that's right, I want my spiked one. So the spiked one does, now for fighting I want to look at entity damage, that's 11. This is a barbed, and the barbed only does, yeah, okay, 5.69. So you want to get the spiked club if you can. Uh, and the sledgehammer, look at that, 14. Right, so your sledgehammer is really powerful. Um, the spiked club's not bad uh, as well. Um, this is only doing 4.6 at level 120. Uh, this one is doing entity damage of 7.14 at uh, level 452. So if you have that much iron on you and you have learned the recipe, make yourself a spiked club or a sledgehammer. Or get a sledgehammer, you know, either or. So, yep, that is a good idea. Now, these things, if you um, uh, stick a dynamite, can be lit with a second reaction, which is the, the left trigger, and thrown. So, yeah, you can, like, bring down buildings, I think, with that. Um, now, also, you can replace parts in your guns once you know the recipes, right? So... Uh, I think earlier we were looking at recipes. Uh, I've got to get clothes, right? I don't have decent clothes. And what I want in the desert is a bunch of this stuff. So we want to go for a green tank top. Yeah, let's do that. We want to stay cool. It's, we're in the desert. Let's get rid of that old thing. Okay, uh, and we want the shorts. Is that shorts? No, that's, uh, that's the bell bottoms. What other trousers are there? Alright, a bandana, what have we got, green, blue, blue and green, there's another green one, ah, we'll go for green, or blue, <coughs> excuse me, oh, alright, because we're in the desert, we don't want to breathe too much dust, um, it's a bit dusty out there at the moment, I can see in the background, alright, um, I kind of flicked past, didn't I? <laughs> Right, so I should have, um, hmm, let's see, where's the shorts? These are shorts, I think. Um, so we can go for a brown pair. So what have I got green? Let's have a look. you got to look good, right? Ah, ah, there she is, looking very groovy indeed. We've got green and blue. Let's try to stick to a theme because we're in the, the groovy... Uh, creative mode, let's be creative. Let's get an outfit. Oh, I've got blue pants, blue shorts. Will that match, do you think? Green. Uh, we'll get both. We can, so let's do it. And, uh, hmm, shoes. Definitely got to have decent shoes. What are they? Cowboy boots. Uh, they insulation plus one. 
Ah, it's not too bad. What's that? Black goth boots in the desert? I don't know. That's more of a city thing. I don't think we want to be traipsing through the desert in those shoes. So anyways, let's just be a bit practical. Get rid of that. And uh, let's see how we look now. Oh, wow. Wow, that, that's, um, that's very Indiana Jones, really, isn't it? <laughs> she looks like she's out of Indiana Jones. <laughs> uh, okay. So we don't even need those ones. We can just scrap them. Um, it can be wasteful because all this stuff's free and you can just have whatever you want. Um, okay, so let's just check our temperature. Yes, 67. So I'm going to want a little coat to put on as well and I'm going to imp improve the shoe situation. So let's see, what have we got for shoes? Uh -huh. um, I definitely want my mining helmet. Absolutely every day. What the? Wait a minute. That's not what I was clicking. What is that anyway? A barrel for a rocket launcher? I never use a rocket launcher. I don't like it. So... Except in insane mode, well, maybe. <laughs> That's about it. Um, okay, so there we go. And we can get a pair of jeans. Uh, blue denim. Blue denim jeans, why not? Let's just be, you know, be casual if it gets... Uh, that'll just give us plus two. Yeah, why not? That's fine. And we'll just get a shirt in case it gets cold. So we'll go for a blue shirt that matches and uh, that'll do if we get cold we've got some clothes so we're going to put those in our little um, our little chest night vision goggles do I want those or oh, maybe 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 not don't really need it right now wow look at this a gas mask fantastic uh, okay so I'm really keen on that I mean we're, we're out in the desert here so Let's just uh, do desert type things. Now, I was looking for shoes, right? Did I miss something? Black cowboy boots? Maybe the cowboy boots are the way to go. I think um, concussive puncture, radiation. Let's try these ones. All right, there we go. Let's put those ones on for now. Just because they are a higher level. You can always find something later. And also, you can get armor. So I could find some armoured boots. What are they? Scrap boots, scrap metal. But we're going to be swimming, so I don't know. I don't think that's very practical. Uh, I don't mind leather. This hazmat as well, which gives you a bit of radiation resistance, uh, which is, yeah. I didn't know radiation was much of a thing, really, except if you go to radiation zone. Uh, but, yeah, there you go. You get a bit of radiation resistance if you want it. Uh, leather, leather boots. Maybe just some plain leather boots could be good. And um, oh look, I found some shoes. That might be the way to go. Let's let's get some running shoes. That's a that's better with our outfit, I think. There we go. That's more practical. And I'll put those in the case. Is there a good level? Um, okay. So what else might I need? At the moment, I might need some body armor. Um, that's one thing. So leather is fine. That's, ah, oh, yeah, okay. That's not bad. Cloth armor. Um, we've got scrap, which is even better. Scrap metal, or what's this? Uh, leather chest armor. Eh, not quite as good. What about this one? Iron. All right, but if we're gonna swim in this, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. We'll wear it. We're only on low spawn. I doubt we're going to need it, but um, there we go. We've got something. Okay, good. So, clothes. Let's put the clothes in. Iron can go in. I don't need that. Cowboy boots. All right. And uh, this. And I'll probably separate these later, put uh, different containers. Keep that. Uh, yep. And that that um okay we're good to go and i just need to get a stack of blocks now and get into it so we shall go and get rid of this rock because i don't want a rock in the way okay 
eliminate this rock. Okay, and very soon I'm just going to turn off the sound and um, uh, off my voice and just get into it and clear up this island and get, get stuck into the, the whole building thing that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so for the, this particular day, um, today I just want to extend my island. So I'm going to get the blocks for the ground first and build the ground. So I'll show you how to do that and we'll do that. We're just going to have this locate the trader thing indefinitely sitting there until <laughs> until I've, I've kind of done what I want to do. I'm going to try out this fabulous axe. I didn't even know it existed, right? So <laughs> the axe is a thing. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's I like it. I like it a lot. I wish I could find it in every other game. I'd And one of these. So it's good to read what each thing does. I, I've seen a lot of people don't really know. Sephiria from the Gamer 50 Plus and uh, I have a website I'm um, also I upload all of these VODs to from Twitch to YouTube so uh, it's just on my uh, Gamer 50 Plus channel on YouTube that you can go back and have a look at things that I've done I have had problems with sound in the past I'm not sure how it's doing tonight I can't I haven't got any way to tell so I do have some very like you know kind of low-grade equipment at the moment and I, I still haven't really been able to upgrade but I do what I can and um, yeah and I, I do the um, CC the subtitles so you can just um, even whack the subtitles on if you if it's at night time you feel like watching but I'm kind of bound up um, and I, I often do that with other people's playthroughs as well I use the subtitles um, so yeah I do those, but they can be funny because I don't get, I don't get to go through them all and you know edit every subtitle and all the rest. I haven't done it yet anyway, but um, yeah. <laughs> so there might be a few weird things in there, uh, like not saying things that I'm not actually saying. <laughs> so yes, you you might get a giggle. Okay, right. So um, I'm just going to go into silent mode here and um, and let the game ambience do its thing.
Okay, so did you notice that? Both times there, I can't upgrade this because I don't have the level. So um, all of this stuff I'm doing at the start that is not just directly from the um, creative menu is why I do it. Uh, because otherwise, if you don't have the menu, uh, if you don't have the level, you can't actually upgrade your, your skills. So yeah, it's definitely worth just getting in there and um, you know, and pushing those skills up by doing some things in a, a standard kind of way. What you can do initially is you can get this higher stamina, I think. No, <laughs> I don't even have the skill points for the stamina just yet. So can we do the camel? No, and there you go. I can't do any of these things until my points go up higher. So I've just got to keep at it and then I can actually upgrade some things. Um, okay, well there you go. That's that just uh, shows you how important it is to do things authentically uh, without uh, without using the creative menu too much at the start or just make sure you still craft something. So don't just get the finished item all the time um, and make sure that you're crafting like I am here. I could have just got the, the blocks um, directly from the creative menu but I'm actually upgrading them myself so that I gain skill. Uh, and so yeah, that, that's very important. Um, that is why it's important. Um, because otherwise, you won't be able to <laughs> level up. All right, so I'm going to switch this back off again. Um, and yeah, and keep going.
Okay, so um, that's a pretty big job there, isn't it? Um, replacing the ground from sand to uh, fertile soil. And so I can plant 
trees and whatever I like. Um, yeah, we'll probably upgrade the fertile soil and uh, it just makes it easier to do the whole thing and uh, therefore everything is very productive. Uh, and also just probably do forest ground on the other side. But um, yeah, so putting the ground in is pretty pretty straightforward. And actually, you can make this in the regular game. You don't have to be in the um, special crafting menu to do this. So you can actually, all you need is dirt. And uh, you can make forest ground or whatever you want. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, just have a look. It's in the... Um, ah. Over, let me see. I think it is here. Uh, if you look across, you should be able to see. All right, there it is. Um, snow. You can make snow. And somewhere here, there is also. Uh, I've seen it before. There's also ground. There it is grassy ground or forest ground. And I think you can make the other ones burned forest. Uh, and it tells you what you need for that, see? So you can make, uh, you need dirt. And that is it. So in your regular playthrough, you can change the ground. All you need is dirt. So when you're in the forest, you go digging. <laughs> and um, then wherever you go, you can create your own uh, ground. So you don't have to be stuck with the wasteland. And uh, the, the reason I'm doing several layers is because this sand is only 50 in strength. It's so weak that uh, if I turn the ante up in this, once I'm done with my island and I want to have a horde night, uh, I don't want the zombies destroying my island. <laughs> so, you know, digging through it and destroying it. So I'm going to just get a few layers of a stronger substance. So it's a bit harder for them to, to kind of dig through it. Um, yeah, so ultimately that that is the idea. Um, and I'm using creative menus, so I don't have to like, you know, be digging the ground endlessly. I mean, there's enough digging just to do this, right? So <laughs> I could use the, I could use the auger as well. I mean, you know, that is definitely a thing. Uh, so I mean, you you know, you can very easily just uh, get yourself sorted out with with digging with the auger. But the problem with the auger is it attracts zombies because it makes so much noise. Whereas uh, if you're in crouch and you dig, you are less likely to attract any attention. And that's why, because I do have low spawn on, um, you can turn it off entirely and then not have to worry about it until you're finished with your building project or whatever, until seven days comes past and <laughs> you've got your base ready or whatever your plan is. Uh, however, yeah, I, I'm just... Um, yeah, I'm just uh, getting creative and uh, seeing what I can make with the things in the menu, which is kind of fun. So that's what I'm up to. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, as you can see, that's coming up quite well. And I can keep doing layers. In fact, I can make this a hill and I can make my, my, uh, my island much bigger than this. I don't have to stick with the size of this island. I can actually uh, extend it quite a bit if I want to, you know. Uh, that is just entirely up to me and and, um, and my creativity and what I feel like uh, having a go at, I, guess, I suppose. So, and same for you, you know. Um, because I'm kind of, I want to create an oasis here, so I am attempting to just, you know, plant some trees and, and that sort of thing and uh, I get this place looking a little vegetated <laughs> I suppose uh, rather than being so kind of uh, empty looking but because it's a desert I, I don't want the ground to look, kind of be too grassy because it, it's a desert right so <laughs> I'm going to plant bushes and all of that stuff so uh, I figure this, this ground looks pretty good I guess um, and uh, you can barely tell, it just looks a bit darker than the, the kind of the, the desert ground anyway. So, yeah, see I can build this up if I want to, I can make this up much higher. Yeah. I can make a ridge. Which is not a bad idea. See that's higher. So I've got a couple of blocks up there which is, makes me happy, it means it's nice and strong, so yeah. 
I'm pretty I'm happy to do that to build up my island a bit and uh, create a, a bridge or a road or something across to the mainland there um, now I should look at where the trader is so let, could check that out quickly and see which way I want to go anyhow um, but so that's several deep now and I can actually um, just you know go into the creative menu and get myself a bunch of trees I don't even need to have the seeds and make them grow I can actually just plant the trees <laughs> and uh, that should be just fine all right so yeah and it doesn't really matter I've left myself a beach but I don't need to actually I can in fact uh, I can in fact adjust extend all the way out here and then make a beach built uh, don't need to necessarily have a beach there okay I think I'm, I'm going to make this island a whole lot higher so that's a that's a thing I think I, I like it being a bit higher off the ground <laughs> off the ground off, above sea level <laughs> lake level whatever this is is it a lake or a sea it's a sea I think maybe even a river I'm not sure and if you do make a mistake you can just dig it out or you can um, use the uh, this thing to get rid of it so uh, I think that helps it just squashes it down or something not sure so I can, I'm gonna try nope I'm gonna do it I might just end up damaging what I've got but it's supposed to flatten it out I think I can just dig that out anyway so I don't have to have that there. yeah yeah and it's gone easy easy uh, there we go so I've kind of got a stronger area on the island I'm happy with uh, and now I can just um, build this up like so I uh, just want the middle of the island to be kind of grassy and beautiful I could even like I have cliffs I suppose you know I, I can make it with the um, with iron and um, all sorts of things I can make a cliff so uh, that's it's all up to you and your uh, your creativity okay just turning off my sound um, I'm going to go and pause in a moment because I've got a few things to do so uh, how are we going for time ah uh, okay well I'm nearly I'm nearly finished for now uh, for this episode but yeah, so hopefully you've learned a few things that you didn't know <laughs> um, or that you haven't tried. And if you haven't tried it, well, go and have a go at it and see what you can create. Um, you can create your own, your very own wasteland as well if you want to. Um, and get around in a hazmat suit. It doesn't matter. It's all up to you and whatever you feel like making. Okay. So, that's looking pretty good. I might plant a couple of trees, I think, just to finish up this episode. And uh, then I've got to secure my little horde basey area, um, just for now, not not permanently, like, you know, I'll knock it down and fix it, but I'm just going to put up some walls, some temporary walls around there, uh, because it's a little um, exposed. Even though I'm on an island, they do climb across under the water and they'll suddenly appear. So, which is why I'm happy to raise this up because it's hard for them to climb up it. So, yeah, let's, let's make it harder for them to kind of get up here in the first place. Uh, okay, so let's find... Let me find some... Uh, dirt I don't need. Let's find some trees. Hmm, what's this? We've got blueberry plants, potato plants. No, I just want this part here to be trees, right? I'm in a tree mode here, so we've, what have we got? Maple trees, uh, another maple tree, and a different kind of maple tree. Well, is a maple tree a thing? Yeah, let's get those ones. Let's see how that goes. How that is. All right. Let's try these. I just want to get the stack of trees here for my little oasis area. And I, I'm going to make like an inland uh, swimming area. So I've got lots of space. As you can see, look at that. You know, I can make my island go round in a circle and I can have like a, uh, a lake in the middle. Um, 
or I can do it here and I can close that which might be easier um, however connecting to the mainland if I use this creative menu I can go for gates so I can actually close off the gates to the bridge and all sorts of stuff so I'm thinking that and create my oasis over here so make it like a separate base oasis um, for safety <laughs> they'll still get over here it's not going to stop them <laughs> but um, yeah Oh, look at the tree! <laughs> we've got trees, we've got trees. So, um, anyhow. Why are you not planting? Why won't the tree go in there? Oh, I see. They only plant a certain distance from each other. Right, I see. Okay. So maybe this one will go over here. Anything goes here, actually. I don't, I don't particularly mind. So where can you go? Can you go there? No? Oh, there we go. Okay. Don't want them to be like lining up as if it's a farm. <laughs> That's going to look weird. <laughs> so, uh, no, no. Okay, that one doesn't want to go there. Maybe I can get one over the side here. You got a plant? No. No. Okay, they're a bit fussy as to where they they position. But that's okay. I'm I've got to start. Um and. Hmm. I can put some stuff in the chest and then oh hang on be able to jump. It's amazing, but I'm going to be able to put my trees in the chest. They all fit. <laughs> Look at that. Da and let's get a different kind of tree. So a different kind of plant. Oh yes, I can most definitely that's another maple. What else have we got here? A burned tree? No, I don't want a burned tree. Uh, that's a different kind of maple tree. It's a, a dark coloured one. It probably won't plant. I won't be able to put it there. So there's something smaller. Uh, what do we got there? Desert shrubs? Ooh, I can put some desert shrubs, I suppose, because we are in the desert. Yeah, let's, um, let's populate with some shrubbery. See how that looks. Yeah, there we go. Let's chuck some shrubs down and make it look like a bit. Yeah. A bit more natural. I'll probably want to populate with a few different plants so it doesn't look, you know, uh, too clinical. Alright. Uh, Alright, so I can build that one up a little bit, so that's a bigger one. There you go. If you keep on popping them on top, it, they actually, the shrub, shrub gets better, gets um, bigger and thicker. So yeah, it's kind of interesting the way that the system works. It's just trial and error, really, I guess, and then you learn how, uh, how to make it all happen. <laughs> right, let's get some over here. over here yeah so uh, there we go we've got our a little oasis starting to form there it's it's bothering me I've got a path I'm actually I might make a path that's a nice idea ah yeah look at the little path coming up uh, as a pathway through here and here so maybe it's a little walkway I can make that'd be nice wouldn't it okay um, yeah, I can consider that and my, my little oasis is, is on its way to being created. I wouldn't mind some flowers. I mean, that, that would be nice, right? So, some little flowers. Oh, um, oh I'll probably have to drink and eat. Yeah. Bit hungry? Oh, a little hungry, yes, definitely. Look at that. I might dump that sand, that's a lot of sand. But that's good because I um, I don't have to go into the menu for it. I'll use it and I'll do some crafting. And actually that can go in the um, forge and it make, to make glass jars. And all of it helps you, you know, or it gets your score up. And um, the more that you craft, of course, the more your score comes up. So, right, pop that in there. Uh, what else do I need that uh, 
I've got extra concrete I don't need. I'll keep the thousand. Um, hmm. I do want the... Ah, um, a different kind of tree to put in amongst those. Or maybe some of these. Oh, that's a coffee plant. Not really. Uh, tall grass. What does that look like? Oh, okay. Um, that is, no, I don't want the, the brown grass. Tall grass, diagonal. I've got the plains grass. Uh, the goldenrod flowers are really pretty. Let's chuck some of those in. They look really nice. So. Crap, I'm going to have to just drop a jar there. Let's, um, whew. Yeah, why not? That, that kind of looks like... You there. And let's brighten this place up a bit. That'll have to go there. Okay. That's looking nice. Ah. Very good. So getting a bit of colour. Might just replace that one. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. oh, I fell down a hole. Whoops. <laughs> jump. Jump, jump, jump. So my chest is filling up pretty quickly as I as I do this, but I've got all the, the things to mm, to increase, uh, to plant elsewhere. Now, what have I got? Potatoes? No, 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 no. Uh, where are those flowers? I might put some red ones. They look pretty. Or that's coffee, isn't it? I don't really want coffee. Tall grass? Mm. What are they? Uh, the, oh, okay, that's a little yucca, yucca plant. I've got the aloe vera and what's that one? A forest grass. Oh, that might be nice because it's kind of, um, yeah, it's green, right? So I want some stuff that's green. Mm. And I've got another space there, so I might actually put a different one. That's a... The yucca, no, I don't really want the yucca plant. I want the, hmm, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find any others. I can look up plants, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I don't mind, I don't mind flick, flick, flickering. Let's see what we can find. Like this. All right, so I've got <sighs> plains trees. Grass. Uh, I've already got the forest grass. That is a snowberry. <laughs> oh no, we don't want snowberries. Uh, okay. Um, what did I miss? I must have missed something here. Tall. Mm. Oh, here we are. The cactus. Cactus, cactus. That's a cactus. Oh, some cotton. Oh, well, that's a nice idea. Let's, let's yeah, let's put the cotton in. That's kind of white and pretty and... It always looks good. Cotton always looks nice. Uh, okay, let's get some of the greenery in. So what is it going to look like? Great. I like it a lot. Okay, that's exactly what I want. I want some greenery in my garden. And um, I might leave a few spaces for, you know, for walking, make a little path. So let's, uh, let's get some greenery going. Make it a bit thicker actually. Makes me happy. I don't like it looking too thin and difficult. Um, yeah. yeah, I can dig it. It's, it's a little bit a bit sparse there. Alright. Uh right, yep. It came up with a different plant then, so that was interesting. I'm not sure why. But I, I'm going to go with the flow. I kind of like the idea of a different plant. I think it, uh, it's got that nice variety going on. Look at that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking that. That's what I'm looking for. Something a bit more natural. Uh, <laughs> looking good. I can get that other one. There it is. Okay. Right, 
Oh, no, that's not going to want to do anything, so. Alright. Very good. And I just want to chuck a cotton plant here. So let's move this around. Alright. Put a few of these in to just break it up a bit. And you can go there. Uh -huh. Over there, I think. It's looking a bit empty. I feel like I'm decorating a Christmas tree. <laughs> You know, it's just like, don't let it be too empty. <laughs> just uh, make sure there's lots of, if all, the, all the spaces are filled. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So it's about abundance, right? So you want it to look abundant. Uh, okay. There we go. Right. Hey. Okay. I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm I'm finding I'm really finding it kind of therapeutic to have the, the cotton, uh, the the, um, the flowers and everything around. So uh, I'm going to just plant myself a little cotton garden right here, just just because because I feel like it. Uh, and I'll just go pick them when I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Since I'm not doing this side of the island just yet, let's just start to plant some cotton. Why not? Not that it will grow well in this, but I don't really mind. Okay, good. So there's the oasis just starting. Uh, and in fact, I can pop that in. Let's get these going. And. Okay, I don't think I'm going to need anything more than, than reinforced concrete. Uh, until I get to the next level, so I'm pretty happy to just stick with that. that that's awesome anyway. I normally wouldn't even have that, so. <laughs> right, there we go. So let's get some strong foundations up around and uh, and then we can dig under, we can make a basement and all that stuff. And uh, dig down and make a tunnel and do all the, the groovy things. And even make a tunnel that goes all the way to the trader. It doesn't. I've seen people doing that. Um, but you have to be mindful of the fact that the more that you do in the game, kind of the more... Um, the more you do, the, the more it's going to take time to render. So you can see it hasn't rendered all the plants in front of me. It's only doing a certain, uh, a certain amount of area. So there we go. That's what I've got so far. How is that? Uh, it's coming along, I think. Uh, <laughs> and we might build the island up and around there and uh, keep like a, a, a lake in the middle. So that's going to be interesting. I'll have to kind of get under the water and <laughs> put the blocks up and try not to drown. But um, yeah, I, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thanks for joining me tonight. I'm going to uh, sign off here. And <coughs> pardon me. I shall be back. Um, hopefully I might keep going on Wednesday with the same thing. And let's see uh, what it, how far I get. And I'll go from there. <laughs> so thanks for joining me. And I hope to see you at the next stream on Wednesday. Bye for now.